right guys welcome back this is troy d and we've got another zhirzhov for you guys this is an absolute exclusive we got an exclusive in our hands today okay and this is a uk exclusive well not really they do have stores around the world one of which is my favorite in dubai it's harvey nichols harvey nichols my one of my favorite spots in dubai to shop and their exclusive is called Cambridge Club right here. Zhirzhov Cambridge Club exclusive exclusively for Harvey Nichols. All right. This one here is an exclusive. And the reason why it's called Cambridge is because the neighborhood or the hood where Harvey Nichols is at in the UK. Same with Harrods. Is actually called Nightbridge. Okay, Knights uh, Nightbridge. Sorry, Nightbridge is the neighborhood where Harrods is, where Harvey Nichols is. It's a nice place to stroll. You got some, you know, old nice houses there, pretty classic, very expensive, um, and it's 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 really fun. That whole place is really nice. So Cambridge is uh, named after that. It is a Harvey Nichols exclusive, and we shall talk about it today. But before that, let's hit the music. <laughs> Okay, we're back. Cambridge by Zhirzhov, Harvey Nichols exclusive. You know, so far, okay, I know that they released a lot of these JTCs and I love all of them. Like really, okay, I haven't gotten a dud before. I got 40 knots, 40 knots was awesome and then Ivory Root was awesome, all right? And now this is also maybe my third or fourth Zhirzhov store exclusive department store exclusive so i'm gonna speak from that point because i'm sure that you guys can just backtrack with like my zhirzhov playlist and you'll find all the other ones okay now um with all of these they are supposedly different clubs okay uh i think with this one it doesn't say exactly what kind of club it is but it's more of like just maybe the exclusive uk club you know and um if you shop regularly in harvey nichols and harrods uh, and you're you're not shopping at the uh, the tourist section <laughs> where all the cheap stuff is, right? I mean, the moment you go to like their perfume galleries, you go to like um, you know the the boutiques, okay, upstairs, uh, you'll notice that it is kind of elite. It is kind of exclusive. All right, it, it will make you want to join the club. You know, it will want to make you shell out some bucks too, so you could get some champagne once you sit down in the stores and. They make you all, you know, feel warm and fuzzy. Okay, so uh, Cambridge Club, yeah, Harvey Nichols. Harvey Nichols is very, very luxury. Uh, it's a luxury brand department store. Maybe it's the club of people that go there, which is rich, really. So uh, my first impressions when I sprayed this is that, oh, you know, this could be like another ivory root. In the sense that uh, Ivory Root just has this feeling of a perfume that I think is like good to spray indoors. You know, whether it's to it's for a social function, it's to meet some friends in some exclusive setting, meet the members of the club, you know, social function. Uh, it's not completely like Ivory Root because Ivory Root is a spicy you know, a spicy bomb. Well, this one is really gourmand. But still, to me, it's not even like bright or anything like that. It's a very classy, is very uh, like exclusive smelling, you know. This one starts with some coffee notes. And if you like coffee, uh, like in Killian Intoxicated, which is one of my favorite Killians, you will enjoy it here. Okay, this one has coffee. And there are some comparisons with Montal Intense Cafe. And I can say that I did review that Intense Cafe full bottle. And as I remember it, Intense Cafe was something that I wish was more intense, right? Uh, and I sold that pretty easily. Uh, it is, but in, in many ways, this one is way stronger, way more potent than uh, Intense Cafe. All right. 
Now it does come with that classic Turkish rose slash patchouli combination that is similar to Ardent Bodicea Victorious via Cavour 1 as well as Kemi Aurum. Once you smell any of these, you will know what this is when it pops out. When the rose and the patchouli combo comes out, it is a prominent scent. It is the most prominent scent and it goes well with the coffee. All right, this rose patchouli combo is absolutely lovable, and I love now that the f I love now that there are four options for me, in case my Via Cavour runs out. Okay, I can get this, uh, I can get um, Aurum, and I can get another Ardent. Okay, that won't be for a while, but I'm just saying you have many options for this rose patchouli scent. Okay. Uh, but this one, I would say, the difference is that this one is wrapped in coffee. The rose here is not loud. It is not ultra floral. Like, you know, when they put a lot of Bulgarian rose in some of these uh, uh, fragrances, it's pretty strong. Uh, this one, the, the rose is not so prominent. It's just perfect. And it's also wrapped by the coffee, wrapped by the patchouli, blanketed. Real, real nice. Really balanced. Okay. Now, the base here is really gourmand with vanilla, musk, and caramel. Uh, very gourmand well blended if you like gourmand this will easily win you over okay um, I believe that from the start from the coffee to the caramel I think that there are no notes that conflict with each other and you can imagine a very very smooth transition okay now um, on its own this is definitely a good standalone gourmand okay this will blow you away if this is your first Zhirzhov exclusive, if you've never tried any of the aforementioned uh, scents, this will blow you away. And I reckon that's the same experience you'll get if you're a casual buyer walking in Harvey Nichols with no you know, true experience as a frag head and you smell this, this will definitely blow you away. Now, this is just my personal opinion, but uh, after trying these uh, these exclusives, these department store exclusive, I've, I've noticed that they're all sweet and they're almost all gourmand with the exception of Jebel, which is my current favorite. Um, I need to ask Sergio Momo someday when we get big enough. But wait a minute. He is my Facebook friend, but I want to ask him why. What's the deal with that? You know, um, I don't know if this is market research or it's intentional or that's, you know, that's what the damsels that you know they they run by the harrods they they, they pass by uh harvey nichols that's what they like okay is that is that what they like when they've got both loads of cash and they, they just want to spend a lot of money that's what makes them tick when they think of caramel you know caramel rose coffee i don't know uh la capital to me was pretty sweet that was russia and i was like really russia sweet and then there's Via Cavour, which, you know, is uh, the number one favorite of uh, my friend Raphael, who runs the Facebook group for Zhirzhov. And that was sweet, too. I was like, peach, peach, rose, patchouli, chocolate. And then the Aurum was also like chocolate, strawberry, uh, rose, patchouli. And then here you have coffee, caramel, rose, patchouli. Wow. Very interesting, right? I mean, I don't know what's up with that, but... That is very interesting to know that the actual in-store exclusives, when you walk in the store, that's what you get, you know? I don't know if uh, that is uh, something that they intentionally did also to compete with others. Because if you go to those stores, you have all the options. All the other niche fragrances are all around. I mean, even if you go here in New York, if you go to a Saks Fifth Avenue and you're a fraghead, dude, your, your neck is going to break going 360 because you got Lalabo on one side, you got uh, Dior on one side, and then you turn your head and then there's a, a Killian, you know, and it's like, you know, your, your, your head's turning 360 because of all the fragrances that are there. And uh, in, in these places like Harvey Nichols and Harrods, I would say the presentation they have there is like, level 10 you know it's like way higher than our Saks fifth avenue here so i don't know what i will feel if i went to those places again now that i actually review perfumes i'll go crazy but interestingly yeah i don't know if the sweet stuff is there to outdo the other perfume houses but wow very very interesting thing here like i said i mean this is this is pretty great but again on its own this is great 
there is some redundancy but again if you've never had a coffee rose caramel ever and you're looking for a gourmand that's not gonna fail you this is an easy 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 win okay easy win easy win okay um the thing that i don't want to do when i review stuff is to, you know to just add more experience and be like oh well i've already smelled that you know i will always bring it back to when i've never smelled it so i'll tell you guys the rose patchouli is great here the coffee is great here as well as the caramel vanilla the gourmand is great here as well this is great for some just nights out yo you know let's bring back the nights out <laughs> hopefully this this you know this virus disappears within the next you know four to six months i hope guys you know always wear masks stay safe uh because man we miss that right don't we all miss that we all miss the nights out and uh, i think that this is perfect for the nights out for real yo i mean i'm talking about walking in a restaurant ordering that 10 course meal 300 dollars meet your friends at the uh the lounge you know this is just nice this is nice okay i can see that i can see that exclusive club thing you know with this type of fragrance um and the performance is also really good by the way sillage is really good longevity is pretty good uh can't complain about that and like i said i mean the, the intense cafe the reason why i sold it really quickly it didn't really perform to my standards and i hated that bottle that little you know spray uh looks like hairspray bottle i hated that but this one obviously stunt value harvey nichols exclusive without a doubt very enjoyable guys very enjoyable okay so that's it that's my review on zhirzhov cambridge club harvey nichols exclusive i want to thank ron for this ron thank you and uh this is something that i've always wanted to review and i'm glad it's out there and if you like this video and you like Zhirzhov, make sure to like this video as well as subscribe and drop a comment below if you want a Zhirzhov reviewed because I do have a lot of Zhirzhovs and I'm pretty sure one by one we'll get them all out there, okay? Alright, so until then guys, thank you for watching. This is Troy D. I'll see you guys tomorrow.